It arrived without warning. It came from the dark between stars. And then, the energy vanished. Just after a massive solar flare, something impossible happened. Twelve hours later, an object a hundred million kilometers away accelerated. This is 3I Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever detected in our solar system. It arrived from the direction of the galactic core, traveling at over 58 kilometers per second. Its chemistry was unlike anything seen before. High concentrations of nickel, but almost no iron. A composition that shouldn't exist in nature. And its trajectory? So precise, so unusual, that astronomers calculated the odds of it being random at 1 in 250 million. The closer we looked, the stranger it got. During its Mars flyby, it passed just 28 million kilometers from the planet. But then, the world space agencies went silent. The images were never released. On the exact day of its best possible observation from Earth, NASA cited a government shutdown, halting key telescope access. Amateur astronomers, however, captured something incredible. Reports of geometric, non-natural structures inside the object's coma. After the solar flare, it didn't slow down. It accelerated toward the sun. Then, during its encounter with Jupiter, a faint but persistent magnetic field was detected. And when the juice probe got a glimpse, its imagery revealed what some analysts described as linear, almost artificial-looking surface features. But the most significant discoveries were yet to come. The object executed two distinct velocity changes, both at moments of perfect gravitational advantage, both perfectly aligned with its direction of travel. An analysis from MIT concluded this acceleration was not explainable by natural outgassing. The thrust required was 10 to 20 times more than any plausible natural cause could generate. Then, in September 2026, a brief, structured radio signal was detected, broadcasting at the hydrogen line frequency. Right now, 3I Atlas is 4.2 astronomical units from our Sun. It's moving at 38 kilometers per second, but that's slower than models predicted. China has already launched an intercept mission, scheduled to arrive in January 2029. We are going to meet it. The probability of a random trajectory shifted from 1 in 250 million to 1 in 100. In 2029, we'll know for sure. But what if it doesn't want to be found?